Because you started your uh, football journey in Canada before moving to England with Stoke City. How did that move come about? Um, well, basically, I was just uh, playing football in Canada in like rep leagues, kind of like a Sunday league thing if you were to compare it to England. And uh, started playing there. Then, as I got older, got into like more of a district team, like a bigger group of players that turns into a squad. Then regional, provincial, and then eventually uh, called up to the national team. Mm -hmm. Where we went on a camp. I think we played Brazil, South Korea. Uh, I think there was like this one star player on South Korea for Barca that played for Barca at the time. We played really well against him. And then uh, after that, there were a couple offers to go overseas, like on trials to Stoke, uh, Crystal Palace and then uh, Liverpool. So finished my trials and then ended up deciding that I wanted to like, sign a four-year deal with Stoke. So that's pretty much how that happened. So. Mm -hmm. um, from England, you went to Croatia with NK Lokomotiva Zagreb and then Hibs in Scotland. Yeah. And finally here, Ireland, El Harps. Yeah. So far, what's your favorite place to live? Favorite place to live? Uh, I have to say, I don't know, Edinburgh. I'd have to say was probably one of the nicest places to live, mm -hmm. just because the city was so nice. Like, um, but they were all good. Like every every place had their own kind of thing. Like Croatia was just nice. The weather was nice. You know what I mean? Edinburgh had the fact that it was just a nice city, and then I don't know, Bali Buffet, Better Kenny, more of just the people are nice. I guess you could say mm -hmm. city's not bad either. So I don't know. Um, you played with players like uh, Chelsea, Fikayo Tomori and Bayern Munich's Alfonso Davies yeah. for the ca Canadians team for the under-23s. Were they standouts uh, even then when they were younger? Yeah. Did you look at them and think they're definitely going to the top level? Yeah, definitely. Like The first camp I remember playing with Tomori, uh, uh, the national team when he played for Canada before he went over to, to England. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was really good. You could tell the difference, especially with Alfonso. Like I remember the first camp I actually seen him come up to was an under 20s camp and in the beginning I didn't think anything of it until they told me his age at the time and then I was like okay yeah he's, he's a serious guy so yeah you can definitely tell the difference you know, mm -hmm. when he came up. So. Do you keep in touch with any of the Canadian under 23s? Uh, some of the players yeah, some of the players still keep in touch with. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, you decided to stay at Finn Harps with us uh, even after your own spot spell was over from Hibs. Um, what were the thoughts behind that? Uh, just the games, like it's the, it's the first actual season where I played in a professional league. Like everything else was obviously professional, but it was under 23s or you know what I mean? It's a lot different when you're playing in a men's proper league, you know what I mean? So it was mostly just the experience and uh, the trust from Ollie. Obviously, having conversations with Ollie over the summer. And just him speaking to me, telling me how much these games are gonna help me, you know, going forward. So it was mostly just the games, knowing that I can get games in uh, at a really good level. So, mm -hmm. um, were you here for COVID lockdown, or did you go to? I was here for a bit. Of, I was here for like two weeks of it, because mm -hmm. uh, I thought we were coming back. So obviously, some of the players went home right away because everyone knew we yeah. would have a minimum a week off, and then uh, it ended up being a lot longer. So I just ended up going back to Sweden and. Uh, just going back and forth between Sweden and, and Denmark. Okay. It's usually where most of my family lives. You know? Okay. So what did you do during lockdown? Did you find any new things to do, hobbies or...? No, nothing new. It was mostly just chilling, playing video games and running. Every day was just running, so it's mostly the same thing every day, just mm -hmm. repeating it. Spending time with family? Yeah, so... Okay. Off the pitch, what do you like to do? Free time? Hobbies? Well, recently me and Alex play a lot of a lot of Warzone, that's what we do, we just play video games. Not much to do anyway, we're just chilling at the house. Uh, we go on walks sometimes, that's how bored we are, so. Yeah. You go to the gym together and all that kind of stuff? Sometimes, yeah, we mostly go for recovery now that we're in the season. We're just, the only time we go to the gym is I want to do recovery in the pool and stuff, but, but yeah, just, just chilling in between, between training sessions.